Controversy tonight over the deal between the city of Atlanta and Fulton County Sheriff to move hundreds of inmates. City Council is in the process of finalizing the agreement with the sheriff to move them from the overcrowded county jail to the mostly unused city jail. Earlier today, opponents of the move accused Mayor Andre Dickens of making promises he can't keep. Well, Fox News' Rob Durienzo joins us now live with more on that deal. Rob? Well, Russ Courtney, the plan is to move 700 inmates into the Atlanta City Jail. Now, according to Mayor Andre Dickens, his plan is to close the jail, but now he's asking for it to stay open for another four years. Justice reform activists gathered on the steps of City Hall Monday, arguing that the deal will backfire and the people behind bars will suffer. This will be a disaster and we will have the, the unfortunate privilege of telling them that we told them so. However, Mayor Dickens told City Council's Public Safety Committee shortly after that the conditions at the severely overcrowded county jail are already a disaster. When confronted with hundreds of men sleeping on the floor, Throughout the hallways, the humanitarian response to that is to do something. Both the city of Atlanta and Fulton County will have to sign off on the deal. Protesters say it will treat a symptom of the problem, not the cause. We know that Fulton County's unjust bail practices disproportionately harm black, brown, and poor communities especially. The mayor pledged to make the cells available for up to and not exceeding four years, which goes beyond his term in office. This commitment uh, is not rock solid, uh, especially because he is not guaranteed a second term. There are severe penalties for any extension beyond the four year extension that you see in the documentation that we provided today. Now, if the plan is approved, the county will pay the city $50 a day for every inmate it sends to the jail. Mayor Dickens said that that money will go to diversion programs, along with initiatives to help with mental illness and addiction. Live at City Hall, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.